Mike Renacci, uh, five nothing against Odense tonight. Uh, a nice win for you guys. Uh, can you put some words on what it feels like uh, with with this kind of a victory for you guys? Uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think just uh, it was really good for us to play 60 minutes. We had uh, we had some chats within our team this week about goals that we we have for ourselves, and um, I think we've had opportunities before. Uh, this season to close out games when we've had the lead in the third period, and it was really, really important for us. And it was good to see that, um, you know, we continued to play and uh, we didn't let up at any point in the game. And, you know, it's just, uh, it was a good, good overall team victory and one that we needed. It seemed like you uh, came out a little hesitant in the first, or at least the ones that were, were a bit more in the game, but... Like you came out a rejuvenated team in second and, and third, and, and it seems like your play just kind of started working for you. Uh, what did you talk about in the, in the intermission between first and second that changed things out? Um, I think that we just we said we were we were playing okay, and you know we we want to just build on uh, just build on momentum, and I think it just goes back to we wanted to really play. You know, it's very cliche to say we want to play sixty minutes, right? But I think it's just important because. The more you play uh, structured in your own structure and the more you play the same way, um, when you're up, when you have a lead and you continuously play in their zone, uh, it just kind of eats away at the clock. Instead of waiting for them to come at you, we're kind of forcing the play and then they're running out of time instead of us running out of time to like kill, right? So, you know, when, when you get into these situations in these games, you know, you can just, you feel like, you know, you want the game to just keep going and going, right? But uh, you know, I thought the guys really played hard, and it was really good to have a, a week of practice. We hadn't had a lot of practice in the last little while, so it was really good for us to get some practice under our belts. Has that been the difference for you personally as well? Because I thought you played your best best game tonight uh, in Wolmstad. Uh, has that been part of the contributing factor, the fact that you've had some, some more practice time this week before a game? For sure. It's always beneficial to get some practice time because you get to feel comfortable, um, you know, in, in your in your skill set, and you get to feel comfortable, you know, making those plays, and you you start to feel where your teammates are going to be, your D partner or your line mates, right? So we talked a little bit about having some chemistry within the lines, and uh, it's just it just goes back to you know like having our team identity and then playing towards it every game, so that we're not so much up and down and up and down. We're kind of you know always just trending in the right direction, staying near that line. So. Uh, I think, yeah, this week of practice was definitely beneficial, and you know, it's just it's good to get out there. You, know, you get to like work things out, whether you're you're doing well or you know you're, you feel like you could be playing better. Um, it's always good. Uh, practice offers a little bit of an opportunity to work hard and and get that stuff, uh, get that practice into you. On Sunday, Suniyushka comes to visit you guys. Uh, a meeting between two teams who have been hard hit by. Uh, injuries and, and on their way back uh, to the way things were before they got injured, both you and, and, and Sunuyushka are, are, are seem to be going in the right direction now. What's going to be uh, the game breaker in a game like that for you guys and, and Sunuyushka? Uh, well, I think that they're a good team. I think you know we we're both good teams. I think it's a, it's a really good matchup. Um, yeah, they've been hit by injuries and you know we have too. And I think that's just part of hockey. It's just you know it's a contact game, so. Uh, it's going to happen. Uh, I think uh, continuing to build off momentum. I think usually in the, in the second part of the season, teams that start to get on a roll, they start to build some momentum towards playoffs, and that serves them well. Um, you know, they start to identify who they are as a team. So as long as we continue to play towards our identity, uh, we're probably not going to win every game, but it'll give us the best chance to win every game. Lastly, I just want to kind of ask, there's been a lot of talk uh, in, in the hockey cliche world that uh, Canadian players, when they come to Europe, they kind of start the season uh, slow, kind of work on the momentum, and when the playoffs come, that's that's when they, they really lift. Is that what we have to look forward to here in uh, Wongstead with some of the uh, North American guys here? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I think uh, it's always an adjustment to come overseas, just the way it's an adjustment for European players to come over to North America, you know, like, you know, growing up and playing in, in the American Hockey League, it was always, you know, tough for the Euros. They could always see, like, it's just an adjustment to come over, right? You're playing on a different size rink uh, with 
different atmosphere at games. So, um, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things that uh, sometimes the gameplay is a little bit different too, and it translates just differently to, to guys. Um, I think generally as long as you have a good attitude towards working hard and building your momentum towards the playoffs, because, I mean, that's, that's the ultimate goal. We want to we want to win, right? We we want to we're here because you know someone said, hey, they can help us win. So that's the ultimate thing that we're here to do is help the team win. So if we can continue to build on our momentum to help the team win, I think that's where we'd like to be. Super. Well, thanks a lot, Mike, and uh, congratulations on the victory and good luck on Sunday.